Hello everyone, welcome to the How to FPV tutorial series in which I'm going to teach you how to fly a first person view drone. So the focus of the series is just about flying. There are a lot of other topics relevant to beginners such as tuning and how to build a quad and what products to buy, things like that. We're not really gonna cover that. We're just gonna focus on getting in the air, learning the basics, how to control the sticks, and eventually how to do some basic fun aerobatics. So how this series is gonna work, this episode is just an intro, so we're unfortunately not gonna do any flying in this video, but in the next video, we'll learn how to fly line of sight without using the camera on the drone. Then in the third video, we will learn how to fly FPV, so flying through the camera on the drone, which is what you're here for. And then in episodes four, five, and six, we're gonna learn some basic aerobatic stuff, such as hitting gaps, flips and rolls, and power loops. So if you follow this series all the way to the end, you will be an intermediate pilot who can do basic aerobatics. So like I said, this specific episode is an introduction and I wanted to talk about the ways you can get started in the FPV drone hobby. So I'm not gonna be recommending specific products or anything like that, but I just wanna share kind of the general philosophy of how you can get started. So the way I think about it, there's two phases to getting started. There's the I'm just getting started learning the controls and then there's the I'm learning how to fly a high performance drone. So first off, just learning the controls. There's really two ways to go about it. You can use a simulator, which is great because it's cheap and you can get a lot of stick time because there's no consequences because it's fake. However, it's fake, so it can be a little bit less engaging. Or you can use a micro whoop style drone, which has basically ducks around the propellers, which keep the propellers kind of um, protected. So they're pretty durable, they're pretty safe, pretty slow, a great platform to learn on. However, they are real, so they can break more easily, but they're also more engaging because they're real. And you could do both if you really want to. So once you've learned the controls, then you want to move up to your higher performance drone, which typically has five inch or six inch props. And you can either buy a pre-built drone, which is great because it's convenient and you don't have to build anything, but I wouldn't recommend it because if you break it, more like when you break it, you're not gonna know how to fix it. So you're gonna have to learn how to work on drones regardless. And it's really just better to build your first drone from scratch. There'll be a bit of a learning curve, but you're going to learn a lot more. And if you ever break it, you're already gonna have that confidence because you put it together, so you're already gonna know how to fix it. So brief recap, you can either start with a simulator or a whoop style drone. And then I would recommend to just build your high performance five inch or six inch drone. So that's it for this first installment of the How to FPV series. In the next video, we're gonna get into the exciting stuff and get off the ground and learn how to fly line of sight. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next episode. And if you got value out of this video or you're using an ad blocker, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link to that along with my Instagram and Discord are in the description. Thanks for watching.